big summer of cricket ahead. Uh, let's talk about the World T20 over in the West Indies. Um, pinnacle event, you know, T20, big event, big ICC event. That must be an exciting thing to look to be part of. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's why we play the game for the World Cups. Uh, the opportunity to take on the best countries in the world and, and really put yourselves under pressure. I think the, the sides that have won these tournaments have been able to handle and adapt the pressure the best. So, look, we're really looking forward to getting over there and, and showing our best. Let's talk about the, the, the opposition for a minute. I mean, I know you guys focus on uh, what you're doing, but the opposition, who, who do you expect to sort of be the, the gun teams at this year's tournament? Yeah, look, I think you can't go past Australia and England as the front runners. Um, the way that India as well have been going the last couple of years as well are a real threat. They obviously made the 50 over World Cup, so you can never discount them. And then West Indies at home. Um, I think any time you've got a home advantage with the crowd, and especially over there with the noise that they make, I think they're always going to be a threat. And, they're probably a little bit similar to us where T20 is their strength. Uh, they've got some real powerful players that I know will, you know, can, can tear a game apart in a matter of overs. So, yeah, look, I think that's the fantastic thing about the women's game at the moment is it's not just one or two countries that are favourites, it's four, five, six different sides could, could really make it at the end there. Mm. You mentioned the, the noise and the, the sort of festival atmosphere at the, in the West Indies in the Caribbean. Have you played much over there? Yeah, we played a World Cup actually over there a while ago now, uh, 2010, shows my age a little bit. But yeah, look, it was fantastic. It was a really carnival party-like atmosphere. That they just love the cricket over there and it's fantastic to be a part of, to be able to play in front of stands of packed people that are just loving, loving cricket and, and really expressing that through dance, music, whatever else. It looked like they were having a, a great time in the crowd. So yeah, I think that's something obviously as well that part of the world, I think, um, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. So I think we're really fortunate to, to be heading over there and hopefully, you know, going deep in the tournament. Mm. And when the crowd's vibrant and loud, does that bring you up? Does that bring your performance up, you personally? Yeah, absolutely. I think you sort of love to sort of play to a crowd a little bit. I think you love to, to perform and as athletes, it's sort of your stage. It's your opportunity to, to get out there and express yourself and as well, it sort of bounce a little bit off the crowd, which, you know, if they're bringing the energy, it certainly helps you. Um, personally, how's the form, how are you hitting it, how are you bowling? Yeah, reasonably happy with the form. I think the last sort of 12 months have been pretty good for me, but it's about continuing that on. I think I've, I've said a couple of times now that uh, it's, it's not the be all and end all if you're scoring runs the last tour, it's how you keep keep pushing forward and keep going with that form. So as a cricketer, it's it's always the challenge to have that consistency and to, to always be knocking out the runs and, and staying in the wickets. So for me, that's always looking ahead to the next tournament, the next game. So, yeah, look, I think yeah, you never stop, otherwise people are, are overtaking you. Mm. And you obviously like to get going at the, at the top of the order, get a fast start. Um, that's a deliberate tactic, clearly, and, and does it help with other aspects of games? Do you find if you're batting well, you're bowling well, or how do, how do you sort of work as a cricketer? Yeah, I think, um, I guess I'm pretty lucky being an all-rounder. You sort of get two bites of the cherry a little bit, so I know if I... Um, you know, go out there with an attacking mindset with the ball. I, I try and follow that up with a bat as well, and vice versa. I think, for me, I, I always want to be aggressive um, at the top of the order and, and set the standard for the rest of the team to hopefully follow on and, and lay a good foundation. And I think, as well, I, I wouldn't be true to myself if I wasn't going out and having a crack. I think that's something that you know I've always believed in and, and always back myself to do that.